guys are doing well. And yeah, so like I said, my goal going forward will be to see if I can pop on a couple minutes early in case people have questions and I can answer them before we get started. So, but for now, let's go ahead. I see some people joining. Good morning. All right, let's go ahead in our usual, take that nice inhale up and exhale down. And again, let's bend the knees this time. Inhale up. Exhale and just kind of alternate side to side here, breathing. Such a shadow. Keep going, alternating there. Let's see. Let's try that. Okay, and keep going here. And four more. And three, two, and one. I'll come and check if anybody does have any requests today. And let that head drop and just rock side to side. Let me know. And, or if you have anything that's not feeling good in your body, let me know and we can try some stuff too. Okay, and then kind of like a rag doll, you just bend your knees. You pull those abdominals on and roll up. And let's do a couple big shoulder rolls, just alternating here, breathing. Good, and then reverse it. And four more, and three, two, and one. And then just interlace your hands and reach back. And you can just stay there, I'm just making sure. Good morning. Okay. I see one that has been on and I'm trying to, is it Mimi, is that actually your name or is that just um, your Insta tag there? All right, and then last thing, crossing those arms. Felt like I needed a little more movement today with the upper body. And four more, and three, and two, and one. All right, let's go ahead and get a little bit of heat in the body here. So I think we're gonna just do those side to side taps here. So the ones where you either step, well, let's do this one first, okay? The step tap like this, or you're kind of running and reaching towards that opposite foot. So one foot goes behind, and you reach towards that foot on the ground there, okay? So just like that. And let's go here. Pulling those abdominals on, maybe starting a little gentler if you feel like you need to warm up into it a little bit. Just take whatever version sounds appropriate for you today. Good. And keep it going here. And switch. And switch, and from here we've got 10 more, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and start on hands and knees. Uh, I'll do it up here. So we're going to go ahead and just do a little cat cow here where you round the spine, drop the head, and then you exhale, toe on and head, look up. And again, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and one more of each, and exhale. And then you're gonna try just like a little circle with your spine here, where you kind of Go up and around, hips out to the side, and the other side. So just a circle, and it feels a little awkward. Your head can be down, however you feel. Pilates can be very linear in their movements, where it's back and forth. It's not so much rotational like this, and so it's nice to kind of get this motion in too. And then reverse whichever direction you're going, letting the hips go from side to side, and you kind of like reach back towards the knees and throw the feet a little bit more with that motion. And let's do three more. And two. And one. Good. All right. And then let's go ahead. I'm just going to do it down here. This one. So you're on your hands and knees still. And then you're going to go ahead, 
pulling those abdominals down, you've got your toes curled, you're going to lift those knees up just an inch or two here, and take a breath, and one more, and then let's reach up and back into a down dog, maybe because it's earlier you're going to stretch back and pump out the feet, bending one knee at a time, pressing back towards your feet with your upper body for four more, three, two, one. Now you're going to hover over again. So hover those knees right above the mat here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Think of reaching up through the chest so that the chest is not towards the ground. Three, two, one, and lower down. Good. Okay, now this version, you can sit back just for one second into child's pose, okay? And then I'll show you what we're going to do. So, you're going to hover those knees, and then once we pull those abdominals on and hover the knees, you're going to try to move an arm and the leg out. So, leg, arm, arm, leg, and then switch. One leg, one arm, one arm comes back, one leg. That makes sense? Okay, so let's start. Left leg, left arm. Left arm comes back in, left leg in. Right arm reaches out. I'm sorry, right leg, right arm. Right arm in, right leg. Okay, keep alternating. Doesn't matter what you start with, you're just taking one of each out, okay? And then switching. Okay, and one more each side. Just trying to find that stability, but adding some movement with the upper body too. Good. And then push back into down dog one more time here. Great. And then you can walk your feet in, bend your knees and slowly roll up. And then we're going to go ahead and do our second set of jumps and then we'll go into some abdominals here, okay? So whatever version you're taking here, you can start tapping side to side, turn that off, okay, and then if you want to pick it up, you're going to reach and reach towards that friend, like that, and reach, and switch, good, you can try to get more length with your jump here as you get into it, and breathing, and keep going here. really nice doing this along with you guys because I don't know if I would have done anything quite yet today. It'd be easy to just slow down, which is fine, as long as you remember to get some movement in. Keep going, and from here, 10 more, and 9, and 8, and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Very nice. Okay, let's do some roll-ups here. So you're on your back, arms go overhead, flex those feet, take a nice stretch. So I'll show the uh, modified version first. If you know you can do it with legs straight, you can keep them straight. Arms reach up, and then you can slowly climb up with your hands to help you up. Once you're up, straighten those legs. Get that stretch over the legs. And then, if you need them bent, bend them, and slowly lower down. And again, arms reach up, take whatever version you like. Pull those abdominals in, it's like I punched you in the stomach, so watching here, pull it in so that that back rounds a little as you go forward. Reach towards those toes, stay there for a minute, and then slowly lower down. Arms going over, and again, reaching up. Pull the abdominals on and reach, and slowly lower. Next one, we'll add a variation. Pull the abdominals on, reach over, and Lowering down to your most challenging point. 
Roll those shoulders away from your ears. You've got strong, engaged arms. Point the toes one leg at a time. Right up, then left up. Right up, and left. Good. Right, and left, and right, and left. And four more. Three, two, and one. Now, let's take both legs up, and then just like a little scissor kick here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower those legs, unwind down, take a nice stretch where those arms reach away from you, and legs reach the opposite way. Good. And then let's try what's called the neck pull. Now, if you see this and you're like, I cannot do this, do the variation we just did with the knees bent or the legs straight. Okay, you're going to interlace the hands behind your head, and then we're going to go ahead and on the exhale, you're going to reach up, you're going to use a little momentum, a lot of abs, and to right, reach yourself up to a seated position, round forward, then you come up nice and tall, you pitch your body back a little bit, so go straight, 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 then you round the spine to go the rest of the way down, okay? And again, exhale, reach it up, lifting nice and tall, pitch your body back a bit, and then round the spine and lower. And again, pull those abdominals on, rounding forward, lift up nice and tall, pitching back, round yourself the rest of the way. And let's do one more here. Reaching up, reach forward for a stretch. Take the arms up nice, or the upper body up, pitch the body back, and rounding down. Great. All right, you're going to roll yourself up to seated here. And I'll do this one down there, but you just stay seated wherever you're at. And then legs are going to be about the mat width, okay? Or a little bit wider even. I'll kind of do a little angle so maybe you can see me. Arms are out to the side. That's too wide. And then you're going to exhale, rotate. You're rotating, I'm rotating to the right, so towards my right leg. Then I'm going to pull those abdominals in. It's like I'm scooping them in, and then my pinky finger is reaching towards my pinky toe. And then you can turn yourself, get a little rotation through that spine. And then abdominals kind of ring out, come up nice and tall. Exhale the other way, and reach the pinky toe and the pinky finger towards each other as you rotate. That rotation, those kind of ringing out of the organs are really good to get that movement, those twists, and coming up. Especially if you have any problem, like you have a problem going to the bathroom, you get constipated in the morning, any of that ringing out, like laying down with legs going side to side to kind of get some movement through the organs is really good. Okay, exhale, opposite way, and reach Pull those abdominals in. Good. Coming up. And exhale, turning, and reach towards that right or left leg, whichever you're at. Good. Coming up and lowering down for that. Next. Okay. Now we're going to come up and we're going to do our next set of side to sides here. All right. So remember your variations like this or pick up the pace a little bit here. And let's go. And you can switch up. You can change up doing a more high impact and low impact one. Good. Keep going here, you guys are doing great. All right, 10 more from here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So when we're doing any of these side to sides or whatever, you are welcome to do like jumping jacks, 
whatever feels good. I kind of just monitor what feels appropriate for my body, but if something else feels good for you, feel free to do it. All right, so you're gonna come onto your knees here. You are straight up, pulling those abdominals on. Feet are flat on the mat. Try not to have them curled here. Roll those shoulders back. Okay, so this is the arm movement that's gonna be happening with this. You're gonna pull those abdominals on, press the arms back. Okay, so the rest of the movement is press the arms back, hitch the body back. The body comes back up in one, like one plank piece, and then the arms come back. Okay, so let's do a couple more like that. Arms back, pull the abdominals on, hitch the body back. You should feel it in the thighs here. And then come back up, and arms back. And again, pressing back, back up. Now, I'm gonna try another version to see how it feels, but some of you are more advanced and may want to do this one. So you press the arms back, pull the abdominals on, pitch the body back. Then from here with that pitch, you slightly start to bend the butt or reach the butt towards the heels. And then you come back in that pitch and forward and arms forward. Does that make sense? So press the arms back, abdominals on, pitch back. And then you can slightly let your butt go towards your heels. And then you come back into that plank position and back up and arms back. One more like that or stick with the other version. Arms back, pressing back, butt towards the heels a bit, pitch back again, coming up and arms back. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of sideline work, okay? So you're gonna lay on your side. You can be, I think I'm gonna kinda of just come up like this with the arm today. You can go all the way flat. You could be all the way up like this. You could switch around, whatever feels good. Okay, so let's start with the knees bent. And then you're gonna lift the leg about hip height. Internally rotate so that the knee is pressing down, so it's not up, it's not straight, it's down. And then tap the knee towards the bottom knee and keep that internal rotation. Flex the foot and you're like pressing up towards the ceiling on the way up. And press, and press, and again. So people have a lot of different variations they like. Some people say you should only be like this. My teacher said, None of this, this is Jane Fonda. <laughs> people know Jane Fonda. And then some people are very set on it being like this. I mix it up, I think they all, if you're here like this, you wanna lift that rib cage up a little bit so you're not just kind of sinking down. Okay, two more, and last one. All right, now you're gonna straighten both legs and let's flex and reach the leg up, point and lower down, flexing up, Pointing down, flex up, point down, and again. Just get some movement through these legs, through the hip socket, and again. Five more, and four, and three, and two, and last one. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and do um, back to the knees bent, both heels are lifted here, and then a basic clam like this, up and down here, reaching up. Four, really focus on it coming from the side of the leg, especially since we don't have any extra weight or anything or a TheraBand on it, decided to just do a class with no props, just us. And breathing here, and lift, and lift. All right, and let's do from here, last 10, so we're around 20 on these. And two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, very nice. Up and over to the other side. Picking however your head feels best. Bending the knees to start, so we've got that lift with the leg, that internal rotation, 
tapping up and down, foot is flexed like it's reaching up towards the ceiling. And breathing here. Good, abdominals stay connected. And lift, and lift, and lift, and last five, four, three, two, one. And then straightening out those legs, flexing it up, pointing it down, flex up, point down. So even here, abdominals are connected, right? Flex and point, and keep going, and reaching up. And last four, and three, and two, last one, good. Then we're bending those legs in, lifting those feet up, up and down. If you're like, ooh, I need more resistance, always keep those therabands and all that stuff close by so you can take whatever version you like, depending on your fitness level and how you're feeling for the day. But there's a difference, right? I can kind of just easily go blah, 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 or I can really engage, pull up each time, really engage. Okay, that's what I'm looking for more. If I can see you all right now, that's what I'd be saying. And reach up. All right, let's say from here we've got our 10 more. And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, lowering down, nice. And then, actually let's just do a quick stretch for that before we come up again. So cross the right ankle over the left knee, pull the legs into the chest, reach the right knee away from you, whichever foot is on top, lifts away. You can even use your hand if you want to to kind of press that leg away. Deep breath. Great, and switch sides. Ideally, if you had more time, you'd hold this for even a little bit longer. I like to hold a stretch like a minute if you've got the time. All right, so I've switched and I have the left knee across the right and I'm pressing that left knee open. Deep breaths here. And when I say deep breaths, it could be in through the nose, out through the mouth is kind of the traditional Pilates way. And you're thinking that when you're breathing in, not just are you expanding the belly, but you're thinking that the rib cage is almost expanding out to the sides and back in. So you're getting kind of that width with the rib cage too. Okay, great. Coming up, we're gonna do our last set of side to sides here. I don't think we have any comments or anything. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead, picking your version, and let's go here. Keep going. All right, and last from here, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of plank. I think it would be good for us to get a little bit more upper body going here. So come down onto your hands and knees to start. Flatten those hands. And let's go ahead and lift the legs into a plank here, okay? So you've got your chest reaching away from the ground, abdominals pulled on. If you've got a mirror, look in the side, make sure you're not up too high or dipping down too low, okay? And stay here, and what we're gonna do is left knee, you can stay here if you want, otherwise left knee can reach towards your left elbow and back, and then switch right towards the right elbow, and keep alternating. Abdominals pull down, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. And let's do four more, three, 
two, one. Hold that plank here, and then walk the right leg out to the side, or just step it out, and then the left steps out. Right steps out, and left. Right, and left. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. Now go down to your forearms, or maybe you were already there, that's fine. Holding that plank, just for a couple seconds here. Good, and then you're gonna walk your feet in, hips lift up. So I think this is a dolphin in yoga. So it's just a nice shoulder stability. You get a little stretch through your hamstrings. Still just kind of engages the upper body a bit. So you're kind of like a down dog, downward facing dog. You're pressing your chest back, pressing your heels down. You can even pedal out your legs a little if you want. And breathing. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. And go ahead and go into child's pose. So I like to do knees apart, heels together, sitting back. Deep breath here. And then walk your hands over to one side, the right or the left, so you get kind of the side rib cage engaged or stretched, I should say more. And then walking out to the other side. to your back and let's do a hamstring stretch so left leg goes straight out right comes up and hold wherever you can to get that stretch I really liked if anyone did the workout yesterday being up on that pillow really allowed that straight leg to get a stretch through the thigh so if you have a pillow close by and want to do that you can it's just that slight lift of the hips allows that thigh to stretch a little bit. Great, and then bend that knee in. And if you've got more time and you wanna stay longer, feel free. Left leg goes up, straight, and find where you can hold on to the leg. Right leg is straight or bent, whatever feels better for you. If it's straight, flex the foot, and you press the uh, heel into the ground to stabilize that whole right side. And I just caught myself being up too much with the neck, so chin down towards the chest a bit. Good, and then happy baby where you hold on to the bottoms of the feet and press the knees down towards the ground. It's kind of nice just to rock side to side with that. And then you can stay there, bring the soles of the feet together. Drop those shoulders down and think of lifting that chest up. And then something I like to do that actually stretches the neck in a nice way is if you lift your hips up, your feet are flat in like a basic bridge, but take a moment and roll, okay, so watch, if you can, roll that shoulder under, okay, and then do the same with the other, and then clasp your hands. So what happens is it allows the shoulders to roll under, and you just think gently, chin towards the chest, but when I say that, I don't mean collapse your chin towards your chest, it's just a gentle stretch on the neck a little bit too when you lift up and you let your head just kind of relax a bit. Take one more deep breath there. Lower your hands down, unwind your spine. Give yourself a squeeze in, roll up, and we made it. Thank you so much for joining.